I could say that I'm sitting in one of the most unique places in Missouri, but you know what? There's really three unique places in Missouri. Yes. And you know what? I happen to be with the person who built them. Insane? Not insane. Tim, tell them who you are. Tell them where we are. Yeah. Tim is great. We're out of Bland, Missouri. We're down here on Prairie Star Farm. Uh -huh. uh, Bruce, owned by Bruce and uh, Jan Sassman. Okay. Yeah. And what are these buildings? Like we're sitting in one right now. Wh who, what building is this? This is Aldo Leopold building. Uh -huh. we, we built it. It's a reproduction building. Uh, they're getting ready to have a reenactment coming up uh, June 3rd and 4th, 2017. Yeah, it's June 2nd and 3rd. Oh, 2nd and yeah. 3rd. Oh, I'm sorry. But uh, 2017, and uh, this is one of the buildings we built for them. Uh, and this is a, a duplicate, right? Did yes. you not, you went somewhere to, yes. to get the measurements of Yes, this. we went up to, uh, where is that? That's uh, West Cullison. Uh -huh. Bear Boom is West Cullison. And we, we went, we took a tour of the original building, took all the measurements and stuff, and they took a lot of pictures. Right. And then uh, he got with the Aldo Leopold Foundation, and they actually had a print that was close to what this is. So it gave us something to kind of work off from. Wow, so and, and so Leopold had like five people lived in here? Is that right? And so how many rooms are in there? Is this just one room? It's basically one room. There's no uh -huh. sleeping area. It's just off the side. I mean, right. it's, it's still all one room. And what was what did you make this out of? This is all out of pud. Uh -huh. uh, it's uh, be southern pud. Come from down around Salem down that way. Right. It's a sawmill down the road, steel mill, and we we had them sawed out for us and everything. Okay, so this is Lee Pulse. You know what, Tim? You helped with two other buildings. So yeah. what we're going to do is we're going to go to those other buildings. We're going to show them that, yes. and we'll we'll give a little description of what you did to to reinvent mm -hmm. that unique structure. It sounds good. This is Henry David Thoreau's place that you uh, rebuilt yes. uh, according to the specs that you got and you have to tell us just a little bit because the reenactors are coming back in here yes. and, and that gentleman's going to actually sit here and he's going to tell us stories on why, you know, why is there a fireplace but why does he have a wood yes. burner? Yes. So, yeah, he, he, he had race to start out with a fireplace, uh -huh. and uh, it just wasn't efficient enough. He did not right. like cutting a lot of wood and stuff, so they switched over to a wood stove and piped it through the fireplace, and that way it was more efficient for him. And these walls are what? The <laughs> walls are plaster on this, this building. Uh, we had to read up into the 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 uh, book and see, uh -huh. like I say, it, 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 that was showing on the uh, prints or anything, but that's the reason we had to start reading into the book that he wrote and stuff, and that's, he went through every detail wow. of how he wanted this, or how he built it himself. And, and the cool thing about this whole deal is, the house is built just like it was built in that era. When they were in, in this building, there's three chairs. I'm not gonna tell you why there's three chairs. You know why there's yes. three chairs. Yes. But you know what? We're gonna go on to the next one. The next one's John Murr's, and the reason why I saved that to last is because it's special. It's a little yes. different yes. than all the rest. So we're gonna go check that out. Whether I saved the best for last, I don't know. This just happened to be the last one. This is John Murr. Now John was a little different, wasn't he? He yes. he liked. Uh, this is more camping, right? Yes. Uh -huh. yeah. So tell us a little bit about this structure when you came to build that. Uh, we had to build a deck here because uh, we were on an unlevel surface and stuff. So uh -huh. he wanted to go ahead and build a deck up and build a tent up where it's a level surface. Right. Uh, we put a wall tent over top of it, and basically it just uh, it's just it's just a wall tent like we use out west hunting and stuff. I mean, right. It's just, uh, uh, and so, um, is there a stove in there, or what's yes, inside yes, here? Uh, there's stove and. Uh, there's cots in here and stuff. It's uh -huh. set up just, just like you'd be out living in. Which is different because the other people had more of the structures yeah. that were inside there. Yeah. I love it. Fireplace. Yep. I mean, you got to have yep. the wood that goes yep. along with it. Yep. Anyway, the reenactors, they're going to be here mm -hmm. at the uh, at the farm. It's yep. going to be June 2nd and 3rd. So you don't want to miss it. June uh, 2nd and 3rd, 2017. So you want to make plans to be in there. You can go to their website which is holytrinityofconservation.com and you can get your tickets to go to it then. You can also check the website out. We also have social media, Facebook page and all that. You can check it out, see who the reenactors are going to be that are coming here 
to be the conservationists yes. that are coming. So make sure you check it out. Tim, good job on all this stuff. Thank you. Thank you.